YouTube. So I'm coming today to do a review slash application. And it's using this L'Oreal Paris, well, L'Oreal Hip, um, the flawless makeup that I got from my haul at um, the Dollar Tree. So I wanted to talk about it a little bit. I am cappuccino 8 eight twelve, and it says yellow undertones it's um spf 15 and yeah i wanted to give it a try i only got one because it looked it just about my color so we're gonna see how this goes this is my first time putting it on so you guys will see it with me I'm going to just pour it in this top because usually I don't need a lot of foundation. So just going to use a little bit. And I haven't been seeing a lot of this product on YouTube. But the few that I heard and seen, it, they said it was pretty good. And no one knows why it's like discontinued or being sold for so that other stores like Dollar General and the Dollar Tree and stuff like that. So I'm going to just take my e.l.f. Um, foundation brush. And I'm going to just use my mirror over here. It is not really thick and it's not really, really watery. It's kind of in the middle, which is good. And it's looking like it's okay. I don't know if this is going to dry like fast or not. So I'm going to try to get some product up here. And I just kind of eyeballed it. I seen some in red undertones. And they didn't, they actually didn't have a lot of colors at the Dollar Tree I went to. So I just picked it up and kind of eyeballed the color. And I, to be honest, I don't know how many different colors they have. Like how many they have. But... Um, it's going on pretty smooth though, so no complaints about that even using this foundation brush. Um, let me get some better light. Sorry guys, one second. So you can see my face a little bit. I'm trying to get it right. It doesn't want to I don't know, that might be the best. So, let me just hold it down the mirror. But if anyone else has used this, let me know what y'all think about it. Um, on the, I think I'm going to need some more. It doesn't say that it's full coverage, but it seems like it's medium to full coverage. I would, uh oh. I would say that. So, I'm still trying to figure out why it was discontinued or whatever. But it's going on pretty smooth. And I think I just put too much on my face. <laughs>
and they don't have a pump on them so you have to eyeball it but usually I don't need a lot so I guess I didn't pour enough in the in the top and I don't have any eye makeup on so it might look a little crazy around my eyes but that's okay cuz I ain't afraid of my flaws <laughs> And my face been breaking out lately. I don't know why. I haven't been wearing makeup. So I don't know what's going on with my face. Could be just the hormones. I have no idea. But y'all, tell me I'm all off the camera. I'm trying to work it out, y'all. It's not drying like super fast where... You might need like Fix Plus or something to keep wetting, wetting your face. I miss pretty moisturized, I would say. Take it down, blend it in. Crazy about the eyebrows, missed the whole spot. I can't say I didn't do a bad job of picking the color. Let me see. Do I look like a ghost, y'all? Is it going with my neck color? Let's see. What y'all think? Leave your comments below and tell me. It looks like a glowy look. Um, not really matte. Mm -hmm. it looks pretty good to me. So yeah. That is how that looks. I like it. Let me see. It looks good. And like this ain't real time, but me looking in the mirror, it looks okay. So leave your comments below and tell me what you guys think. And leave a video response if you have tried it so I can see if you guys like it or not. And see how it went on your skin. So, thank you guys. Comment, rate, subscribe, and have a good day. So, I had to stop real quick. And um, I didn't film it, but I just put a little powder over it to see what would happen. And how it will look. And it still looks um, like kind of dewy and shiny. And it's pretty good so it feels nice it doesn't feel like I have on foundation which is lovely of course I hate that feeling and it's pretty good it's enough coverage for me it's, it's medium to full coverage um 
Now, if you have like, you know, really dark circles or dark spots, then you can use a concealer under it and everything. But for the most part, the little bit of dark spots I did have, it it pretty much covered them up. I think they were maybe some up there and some down here. But it didn't, I mean, it didn't do it 100%, but I must say about... 98% so I just wanted to come back and show y'all what I did um as far as the powder and everything and how it looked and felt so check it out and let me know what y'all think see ya